Hello, everybody. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, my name is Angie. I am a wellness advocate for doTERRA um, essential oils. Um, just getting on board with these essential oils. Um, and I'm learning a lot. And um, finding out that these oils actually do help support um, your everyday your everyday needs, whether it be something for um, whether it be an actual ailment you have or uh, anything emotional you're going through. Um, meditation, um, just so many things you could do with these essential oils, um, and it's all natural. Uh, I have not tried cooking with them yet, um, I'm very open to exploring that, um, and when I do I will share it, um, but as for right now, you guys could basically just learn with me um because i am actually learning as i um go through every oil alphabetically um there are a few oils i already do kind of know a good amount of info about um but i am actually now taking each oil even if i don't have it or never tried it yet um and i have gathered some notes um Today I'm talking about basil, and um, basil is sweet smelling, very soothing and calming. Um, it is steam, <clears throat> excuse me, steam distilled from the Osimum basilicum, basilicum plant. Uh, it's rich in linalool content, um, which is found in lavender. Mm, I guess that's where the soothing and calming properties come from. Uh, promotes mental alertness, enhances memory. Something I need. And sharpens focus uh, when studying or reading. Uh, I do have basil at home. I have not yet in, uh, diffused it. Um, but I think is now the weekend so the uh, weekend I try to focus on my travel business and my essential oil business and try to um, uh, meet some goals <laughs> and it is very hard for me to stay focused and have a clear mind so I am definitely going to try to diffuse this Anyway, getting back, um, it also can soothe your muscles and joints. Um, if you apply, if you apply directly to um, the sore area, um, you could also put in the back of your neck to relieve tension there. Um, so I've listed the top eleven uses for this oil okay number one adrenal fatigue um, apply it under your nose or to the bottom of the feet back of the neck forehead and over the adrenal area um, let's go for an earache if you put it behind the um, and down beneath the ear area um, Swab the ear canal to relieve pain and infection. A uh, loss of your sense of smell. If you put um, a dab like under your nose, um, it can actually help you regain your sense. I'm going to try this. You know how like when you're, when you got a head cold and you can't taste or smell anything? I want to see. I'm going to see if that works. Let you guys know. That's interesting to me. Um, 
number three is, or not number four, I'm sorry, migraines and dizziness. Apply it with wintergreen oil um, or peppermint to the temples and back of the neck. Um, for mental fatigue and focus, you breathe it in um, right from the bottle, or you could diffuse it, or you can apply across your forehead. Um, good for any type of arthritis pain, um, including gout which is just the body's inability to break down um, uric acid. Um, the pain is characterized um, by redness, um, usually feeling severe pain in your toes, um, especially the big toe. Um, So for the for the arthritis um, and gout, you would apply to your spine, bottoms of your feet, ears, ankles, or over your heart. Um, number eight would be uh, good for PMS, uh, menstrual cycle. Um, you could actually stimulate your cycle if you know you're somebody who will have like spotting and then like you're like okay when's this gonna be on in full force like you like you know it could kind of like creeps up on you you can actually it's, it says here you can actually apply it to um your lower abdomen and it will stimulate your cycle um and you can put it in that area too as well for um cramping Number nine, emotional balance. Um, use it aromatically and topically. Um, emotion can go from inundated to relieved. Um, muscle spasms is number 10. You can apply it to your spine, bottom of your feet, um, or you could take it in a, a veggie cap which you can order through doTERRA and it'll come in like a bottle that, um, you know, uh, supplements usually come in a bottle like that. Or, um, here's my little pouch. I don't know if you can see in there on the bottom. I have a few of those, um, capsules. I ordered like a, a big bag of them in bulk from Amazon. It was, I forget how much, probably like 12 bucks or something. I don't know, maybe even less than that. Um, and it's a big bag. They have them in like all different sizes. Um, you could apply basil oil directly to um, any insect bites. Um, or you could diffuse it outside. Um, mix it with water. And spray, you know, um, the house. Uh, you know, if you're sitting outside, you could also, or, like, um, the spray you could spray in the house or you could spray on yourself. Um, if you're going to be outside for, like, a long period of time where there's a lot of bugs. If you're camping, hiking, stuff like that. Um, or if you're just sitting outside with family, um... You can use it in a diffuser, and it should keep the bugs away. Um, there are some oils that basil blends really well with. Um, I'm just going to name the oils. I don't have, like, you know, as I'm going through each oil separately, I don't have a whole lot of information on each oil um but you know i will be getting into getting further into um learning about these oils so i will be able to but for right now i'm just going to tell you what oils it blends well with um bergamot lime litsia and peppermint um peppermint is one of the oils that i know 
a good deal of info on because uh, it's my favorite so far and I've been using it pretty much on a daily basis. Um, I am uh, not a big coffee drinker to begin with, but um, if I was, it'd be, I would think, um, a good replacement uh, for that. Um, I will say this, though. You're not going to just inhale or use peppermint once and then be good for the whole entire day. Um, I carry it around with me and use it every few hours, two to three hours, um, for like a boost. Um, and the more you use it, you, I mean, you can't use it like 100% freely, you know, whenever you want, however much you want. It's a very potent oil. It's like all of them. Um, and you do need to use it with caution, but, uh, uh, I separate it like two to three hours. <clears throat> um, you could take it in a capsule. I, I use it however I, I can use it. Like, um, if I could pop it in a capsule, I'll do that and take it. Or, um, they have like, doTERRA has these little beadlets that, you know, you just take one of those, um, in addition to inhaling it and diffusing it and, um, using it topically. I do all of that. And when I do all of that, um, throughout the day, every so often, um, not only do I get an energy boost, but I also get, um, it also helps with, um, suppressing my appetite. So there's a little info on peppermint. Um, uh, why, um, to mix it with the, the basil, I don't know that yet, but I will find out, and, um, just stay tuned, I think the next oil, I'm trying to think what it is, might be clover, not 100% sure, but, actually might even, no, I think it might be bergamot, bergamot is one of the oils that basil, um, blends well with so I will reiterate with that in my next video until then take care